Hey, it's Steve with another tutorial on building up your light show. Uh, in past tutorials, we've looked at how DMX can control lights and how audio and MIDI can also control DMX lights through controllers. And this time we're going to look at something a little bit different. We're going to look at how you can add video into your light show. You can do it pretty inexpensively and pretty simply. And we're going to use an iPad to wirelessly send the video to an uh, inexpensive projector. And then we're going to learn how with a hardware MIDI controller, you can actually synchronize the video to music and control it. So let's take a look. The first thing that you need to project video is you need a video screen. And you can spend a lot of money on video screens, or you can make a cheap one, like I did. And the key to that is buying inexpensive material. This is 9mm vinyl billboard material. It's waterproof and it's really, really strong. And the other cool thing about it is it's backed up with black so it blocks out light from behind. And I bought mine from a website called billboardtarps.com. A 16 foot wide piece was only $10 and uh, plus $17 shipping, so it was un but it's still under $30. It cuts with regular scissors and I measured it carefully and cut it down to 10 feet wide, which is the width of my truss. Um, These tarp hangers that I found on Amazon and they attach onto the tarp material and then with those across the top uh, with these little mini bungee cords I was able to bungee cord it to the top of the truss but it's pretty amazing how straight it hangs just uh, just hanging with the top uh, attachments now I want to show you my projector. This one is a Sanyo uh, XU48 and I have found that for light shows it really doesn't matter if the projector has all the modern features like 3D or HD or HDMI connectors. All that really matters is that it's super bright and this one is 3000 lumens and nowadays projectors like this are getting really really cheap on eBay uh, you can get projectors that are 3,000 lumen for under 150 bucks. I've even seen them under $100. Um, so there's lots of great opportunities for picking up a simple bright projector these days. So the way that I have my rig set up is it starts with an Apple TV. This is a third gen Apple TV. Um, they are getting really inexpensive on eBay now because the new ones are out. I bought this one for under $40, believe it or not. And the Apple TV has HDMI out, so it needs to be converted to an RCA signal for the old school projector to accept. So it needs to go through a converter box, HDMI in, RCA out, these little boxes are dirt cheap on Amazon. I think this one was $5.95, something like that. And the little box does require uh, USB power, however. So I've got a USB um, outlet here on my power strip to make sure that it stays powered. And then RCA out into the projector and you're good to go wirelessly. Okay, so now that we have the projector all set up and projecting, we need to connect the iPad to the Apple TV. The way that AirPlay works is it connects the iPad, you see the Apple TV here, you select the Apple TV, we have mirroring on. Now we've got the iPad coming through the projector, and now the the program that I use, the app that I use, is called uh, TouchViz, and it's a great program. They make it for uh, VJs, and we set it so the output comes through, and then once we've done that, you can select video clips, and they'll project wirelessly from the iPad into the projector. Now that we've got the iPad hooked up 
through the Apple TV to the projector, now is where the fun begins. Because now we've got this great program called TouchViz, which basically you load these different video clips in. And once they're loaded in, you can select different ones. And you can select them on the iPad. You can transition between videos. You can control the speed of the videos. You can put effects on the different videos. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple things. This is video A. Um, I'm going to put an edge effect on video A. Or I can put different colors. I can control the color output of it. I can control the speed. Um, I can transition to the second video. Now I can do all this on the iPad. But what's super cool is that this app was designed to be able to take MIDI continuous controller messages and uh, be controlled that way. And what's great about wirelessly sending the signal to the Apple TV is that we still have the lightning port open on the iPad. So this is the controller that I've been using. It's a really cool controller. It's uh, made by Arturia. It's called BeatStep. And they're not even that expensive. This one was like less than $100. And it is a USB controller. So you cable it up with USB. USB into the lightning port. And it's going to do a cool little uh, booting sequence when it gets power from the iPad. And now that it's connected, let's grab it. And I've programmed the pads and the uh, knobs on this. So, for example, this main knob here, I've programmed it as the transition between the video clips A and B. So I can crossfade between A and B with this master knob. Uh, I've got these guys set up to control the speed. Uh, this is the speed of clip A. Faster, or I can slow it down. Here's the speed of clip B which is the fire, so I can speed it up or slow it down. Let's go back to the dancing uh, with the crossfade. Now, I can also, I have it set up so the pads will pick different video clips. So, when I hit this pad, I have this clip. And I can transition back and forth, um, all different videos. Some of them come with touch viz and some of them uh, are videos that I acquired and loaded in. So you can see there's so many possibilities with this and being able to control the video clips with a hardware controller opens up so many possibilities because it means you can play clips live and synchronize them to a show or you can also record them into a sequencer and play them back. You can see it's not that expensive to do this. And again, appreciate all your comments. Thanks so much. I'm looking forward to the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.